Hey guys, Stepco Soccer Pair. Today I'm working on a still 028 AV. This is the um, uh, chainsaw. I don't know how long the bar is or anything, but basically this got brought to me and said that it was brought to another shop and they couldn't fix it. So uh, he brought it by my place to see if I can if I can take care of it. So you know, I always tell them that everything can be fixed. It really depends on what you want to put into it. So first thing I noticed is that there was no fuel filter in here. Uh, I ordered a new carburetor. The only thing I've taken off is the um, cover here the air filter and then the carburetor just pulls right off this um, is your throttle it just clips over I'll show you that when I put the other one back in but basically here's the new carburetor and these lines right here your pulse line just slides into the the one right here and then here's our fuel line it looks like they already replaced the fuel line so I'm not going to do that I do have a new one if it needs it but it looks like while they were working on it they replaced it because it most likely it was bad and then this comes right in here this is where the fuel line I mean I'm sorry the throttle arm clips onto and when you slide it back in so basically it goes on here and the, and you can see that linkage just slides onto that it's pretty easy setup so I'm gonna go ahead and do a compression check and make sure the compression is good if the compression is good and we got a good spark I'm gonna continue and just put the um, carburetor back on fill it up with my super fuel which is basically um, ethanol free 91 octane with uh, Amsoil Sabre at 50 to 1 I run it everything. I keep it in a small container so that it always stays fresh. So I make sure I always have fresh fuel. And there's the uh, Amsoil right there. It's blue. Keeps your uh, fuel looking blue so you know that it's mixed. But everything else looks good on this. I don't know. Let's let's see if we got a spark. All right, we got spark. I, I do it the old school way. I just hold it like this with my finger, put my finger on the head, and I pull it. And it'll give me a good shock. Um, I can set you guys up on the tripod, but it's pouring down rain. And you see what's in the background there. And I got my tripod in the new shop, and I'm not working out of it yet because I got no power or air, but it's pouring down rain, so I can't get to it. But basically, I just put it on here and held it, and it's got good spark. And uh, I pulled it, and it's nice and blue, so we're not worried about that. Let's check our compression. All right, so we're getting 150 PSI. I did that three times. It's consistent between 145 and 150. So compression's good. Spark's good. Let's put the carb on. So when you put the carb on, don't put the fuel line on until the carb's all the way on. Move this one out of the way because it has to kind of bend and come back in on it, see? So just move it out of the way. Get your pulse line. Make sure your pulse line is on right in there. And when you push the carb straight on, it should just line up the pulse line and push it straight in. Now this is the uh, throttle I told you about. Just pull it up. Switch hands so you can see. Just pull it up and push it right back onto there. All right, there it is. Our idle is right up here. And it should be making contact. All right, right. All right, right there. There's our idle. So let's put our um, new cover on. I got to put a new plug in, put some new fuel in it, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're back together. Got new fuel in here. I also put a new um, breather line for the tank. And uh, we're going to see. Choke is on. I'm going to give it a couple pulls and see what happens. Got to prime the new carburetor. Looks flooded now. So something else I noticed, there's a spring right here that holds the choke, so when the choke comes off, it, it stays off like that. There's a pin that's on the back side of this that's supposed to go through here, and it was completely missing. So the spring wasn't held on by anything, so I just uh, safety wired it, and now it works again. So this could definitely have been just pulling at every time it's trying to run and choking itself out. So. Let's put this back together. It was weird because when I was holding it full throttle, pulling it, I was hearing, hearing something in here. All right, so that's why I found that. So let's see what we got now.
a minute and see if it loads up. Seems good, it's coming off the throttle fine. It's coming up on throttle good. Just gonna let it sit in idle and then I'll just punch it and see what happens. Right, we're good so guys one of the things i hope you noticed when i was tuning it and i was holding it wide open for those short periods of time you can hear it was it wasn't breaking up at all it was just kind of screaming and that was too lean i wanted it to i want to hear a little bit of break up while i'm just sitting here revving it um, when it's wide open otherwise when you when you start using it and you're laying into the log it'll be too lean and it won't have an, a little bit extra gas to help it power through so you wanted to and you don't want to kill it either, so you you know you don't want to run it lean wide open. So you want this thing to be running a little bit rich, so it should add a little gurgle when it's wide open. And then when you put it on the log and punch it, it'll give it that little bit extra um, boost to help. So you don't want it like super breaking up and blowing smoke like crazy, but you know just that little bit. So this thing is tuned pretty good. I'm gonna let it sit, come out here tomorrow morning, fire it up. I have a feeling it's gonna be just fine now that it's set up. I think the whole problem was that choke. And being that that pin was out, they probably didn't notice that, and that choke was flapping and constantly just cutting the uh, air off and causing it to run really rich. So, But yeah, it's good to go. I'll fire it up tomorrow. We can fix everything here at TEPCO Psych Repair. All right, guys, it's the next morning. Let's pull it out of the box and fire it up and see how it does. All right, guys, so we know that it runs. We know it's doing good. I'm not going to go too crazy tuning it perfectly right now because we still need to get a new air filter for it. That's the old one that's on there that was missing the pin. So we're going to get a new air filter for it uh, and then final tune it. So when you got things like that going on, like that's an old air filter. Uh, and basically this was making sure that it ran and worked good. So we know that it, everything is working good. We're going to order up a new uh, air filter and put that on. Then you do your fine adjustments. Because if I was to put a new filter on after doing adjustments now, I'd have to adjust it again. So everything is good, guys. But look, they brought this to a uh, professional small engine shop and they missed out on that little tiny pin that holds the spring for the choke. I think that was their problem they were having because compression was good. Everything else was fine. Spark was good. There's no reason why it shouldn't have run and no reason why they shouldn't have fixed it. Sometimes these guys go through a lot, a lot of chainsaws in the shop and they got to keep, you know, they're pushed to get jobs done. I'm not going to blame them. They overlook something. Everybody can do it, right? We can, we do it here. So listen, make sure you check everything, double check everything. If it's not starting pause and think about why and what's going on think about what you did and check everything just recheck it and that's what i did so that little pin right there and we got it running so this one runs good this is sentimental to the owner so i'm glad to get it back to him so he can have it guys hopefully this helps you out please hit the like button subscribe hit the bell for further notifications until next time work on it until it's fixed this is tepco Psych repair